to share with you guys what we got at Costco. I have not done a healthy grocery haul at Costco probably since the summer, so it's been a good six months. So I'm very excited to do this video for you today. It's gonna be a healthy Costco grocery haul, of course. All my grocery hauls are pretty much all healthy. I am gonna be starting the Whole30 diet pretty soon, so a lot of these items are Whole30 approved, so I'll point those out to you. And I'll do a separate video on Whole30. Before we go any further, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more healthy living videos, and also hit the bell notification icon so every time I upload a new video, you get notified. And by the way, I do upload one or two videos a week based on my work schedule. And then stick around too, because later on, on in this video I'll tell you how much we spent it was quite a bit and then also at the end too I am gonna do an unboxing of this pan set I got at Costco most things in our kitchen we do buy at Costco just the price is really good at Costco and if you're not satisfied you can return their items at any time so we like that about Costco all right guys so per the usual I'm gonna go to this side of the table and point out the items that are like um, fresh and frozen that we need to put back in the fridge and then I'll get to like the shelf stable item. So let's come over here. And if you guys have been following my videos for a while, you know that we always buy frozen vegetables. These vegetables just happen to be organic because Costco is the best at organic stuff. 
they always have organic frozen vegetables, so I don't have to worry about it, but you don't have to buy uh, broccoli organic, cauliflower organic, a lot of the cruciferous vegetables, you don't have to buy organic, so you can save money on that. But we use our frozen vegetables a lot for quick meals, uh, especially after a work day, we don't want to actually cook, so we just put them in a pan and thaw them out that way, they're really easy. And then, of course, salad grains for smoothies, salads, <laughs> Sometimes you guys, I just eat the greens out of the bag because I need to get my greens in for the day and it's just easier just to eat it out of the bag, so you know, whatever floats your boat, but really good price on organic greens at Costco. You don't have to buy cauliflower organic, like I said, but they have organic, that's their only option, so I was, I was happy to, to see that. Of course, mushrooms, very high in vitamin D, so it's important if you like mushrooms, it's a good source of vitamin D, especially for the winter, uh, because all of us, or a lot of us, especially in the north, lack vitamin D in the winter, so I like to buy mushrooms, uh, especially in the winter time. Broccoli doesn't have to be organic, so this is a cheaper price than the organic, but they do have organic broccoli. And then I got three of these. I don't know where the other two are, but um, I'm gonna start juicing again. Uh, I do like celery juice in the morning. Normally the juice saves ahead of time, and so I'm not juicing every morning, I'm just juicing for the whole week, and then um, I just have like an eight ounce celery juice in the morning. So I'm gonna start doing that again. I used to do it a couple years ago, and I really liked how my digestive system was feeling on celery juice, so I'm gonna do that again. And of course, buy your celery organic, they are part of the dirty dozen, so you don't wanna be just drinking pesticides. Cucumber, always buy cucumber organic, so we're switching it up, I don't normally buy cucumber, but I, I like the crunch, so it's kind of a nice snack to snack on. Over here is our meats. Ground beef and turkey, always buy your meats organic, like I've said before. Um, way, way healthier for you, and that means that the animals are fed non-GMO organic feed, and so you uh, want that in your body also. You don't want the GMO stuff that they're fed. Um, way better for your hormones, which as you guys know, I'm trying to balance my hormones, so I wanna have clean meats in my diet. Over here, sauerkraut, they have really really good price on sauerkraut at costco basically this whole thing is what you would pay for for a little thing at the grocery store you do want to eat fermented foods either sauerkraut or even the wine or healthy for you pickles too anything fermented is really good for your gut health yogurt also good for your gut health but i'm not eating this my husband is you want to buy all your dairy products organic if you do eat dairy same reasons as the meats frozen blueberries I've just found that buying frozen blueberries is just easier and better than fresh blueberries. Fresh blueberries, in my opinion, don't last very long. They last like two or three days in the fridge, and I hate like mushy berries. So what I end up doing is just putting these in a bowl and heating it up in the microwave to thaw them, and then I can just like pile a whole bunch of stuff on top of those thawed blueberries. Like I'll put granola on top of the thawed blueberries, yogurt, you know, and I think that tastes better than fresh, but you know. I, that's the same nutrients in frozen as fresh. Okay, squash, I normally buy butternut squash whole and cut it up cut it up myself, but Costco didn't have the whole butternut squashes, so this'll do. I like that it's organic, but you don't have to buy butternut squash organic because you're peeling off the peel. And then apples, they had a really good price on organic Fuji apples. So their apples are pretty high quality normally at Costco. There's a bunch of them in here, so they'll last me a while, but let's be real, maybe only a week actually. <laughs> I do eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. Over here, this is something different. I don't normally buy bok choy, but super good for your health. And I like to saute it with just a bunch of other vegetables. Adds a nice crunch to broths and soups too. We bought this, this is a really convenient, it's not environmentally friendly obviously, but this is better for us to buy instead of the whole avocados because they're just more convenient. You, they're individually packaged and you can easily throw them on your salad, in your lunch, um, they're portioned out for you, so you're not wasting a half of an avocado if you don't want to eat the whole thing. So we ended up getting this, and I think it's very inconvenient. I just don't know if I will get it again because it is a lot of like plastic and extra trash. But for now, I wanted to try this out. What are you doing? Can you get off the table, please? All right, as you can see, we put the cold stuff away, moving on to the shelf stable, stable stuff. Don't mind her, she's always in the videos, so she's just gonna have to be here because she's a cat and I can't prevent her from jumping on the table. She just wants to be involved, so that's fine. All right, so moving on over here. So coffee, we've had this coffee before, it's really good. You wanna buy your coffee organic because it is heavily sprayed with pesticides. This is fair trade, which is very important with coffee. And we have a coffee grinder we like, so we buy the whole beans. Costco has super good prices on dried fruit. So I stocked up 
I love figs. Um, dried figs, I put them in the fridge because I like them cold. They're like chewy, chewier and I like the consistency better. Uh, I really like almond butter with figs. That's like my favorite snack. And I have that for dessert too a lot. Um, when I go on the Whole30 diet next week, I'll have a lot of these with almond butter for dessert. And then dried mango also. To me, this tastes like candy. So I kind of have this in place of like sour strips or like those really popular candies out there that are like chewy. These really taste good to me and they are sweet. So, and they're good for you. Also Whole30 approved. Also Whole30 approved are these dates. I use dates a lot to sweeten things and especially on the Whole30 diet, you're allowed to use like dried fruit and fruit to sweeten things. Um, I like to put this on top of dairy-free yogurt. I like to put it with any nut butter. You can't have peanut butter on Whole30, so um, normally I like to pair peanut butter with dates. It's like super good snack, but I uh, can't do that. All right, moving on. Really good price on organic cashews. Normally at the grocery store, they're very expensive, but this whole jar at Costco was very, pretty inexpensive. I eat these a lot, but I also use cashews in different, um, in making different sauces and dressings. All right, you guys, the holy grail. <laughs> a lot of people ask me where I get my vital proteins powder or the collagen powder from. It's Costco. It's only $23 or $24 for this whole thing at Costco. I always, every morning, put a serving size in my coffee, and that way I can get protein in right away, easily in the morning, and collagen's really good for your hair, skin, and nails. So I really like to have it every day. And you can, you can make smoothies out of this. You can put it in tea, even if you're a tea drinker. You can put it in a lot of different things. <laughs> Another staple of mine, a must-have at Costco. I was really happy to see that they still carry these. I wasn't sure because I haven't bought them in a while. These are plantain chips. They're super healthy for you. I talked about these in my last Costco haul, I believe. All it is is organic plantain chips, coconut oil, and pink salt. They're so good. They taste like regular potato chips, like that kettle, kettle chip potato chips. So, so good. Technically, these are Whole30 approved, but they don't recommend that you have these on Whole30 because it's more of a treat and it is considered like a processed item. This is really good granola. It's grain-free, gluten-free, dairy-free, paleo. So Josh wanted this for his yogurt in the morning. So good price on that. The best ever tomato sauce, Rouse. All clean ingredients, no sugar added, and that's a thing with tomato sauces, spaghetti sauces. You really wanna make sure they don't sneak the sugar in uh, because that happens a lot, especially in those name brand tomato sauces like Krago's. They all have sugar in them, and this is really high quality, really tasty tomato sauce, also Whole30 approved. Almond butter, you guys, I was very, very excited to see that this is organic because in the years past that I bought my almond butter at Costco, it's always the non-organic kind, which is fine, but you wanna eat your nuts, especially almonds, organic. So I was happy to find this. It's a little bit more expensive. I think this is $11 for this, but still way cheaper than the grocery store for the size of container. Uh, this was a great find too. This is taco seasoning. Their taco seasoning that they carry, the McCormick's brand that we always buy, also has sugar in it. This does not have any sugar in it, so this is Whole30 approved. Um, and I will be trying this out in our ground beef and ground turkey for this week. We always buy their tuna, the yellowfin tuna. <laughs> I like to buy this one from Costco because it's mercury tested, so it is low in mercury, and it's wild caught and sustainable and all, all the good things for fish, so I like to buy this at Costco. I also like to buy the sardines at Costco because they're a very good price. I do prefer them in water, but this is such a good price that um, olive oil is totally fine. Uh, the other thing, sardines are very, very, very high in omega-3s. The smaller the fish, the better for you they are and the higher in omega-3 count. Okay, RX bars. These are really good, very good price at Costco. They are Whole30 approved, so I like to have these as a snack when I'm on the Whole30 diet or even as a, like a dessert at night or a snack at night. So, um, and these two flavors are pretty good. The only thing is I can't have the peanut butter one on the Whole30 diet, so I just stick with this and Josh will have the other one. You guys, avocado oil. This is so expensive in the grocery store. I'm telling you, like, this is like $20 in the grocery store. I don't remember the price on this. I believe I showed you in the previous clips, but um, this is at least half the price at Costco and all, avocado oil is like the best oil to saute in. It has a high smoke point. So very good for your heart health, avocado oil. So highly recommend you get this at Costco. All right, Spindrifts, of course. 
We get these every single week pretty much and good price. It's just a lot of them, so you do want to make sure that you really need all these, but we do drink them every day, which is probably not good, but that's okay. Our favorite sparkling water. Good price on box wine. You know we like our box wine, and I'm gonna enjoy this hopefully in the next couple days before I have to start Whole30 because I can't have any alcohol on Whole30, so that's gonna be a bummer. But that's okay. This is very good, and this is three liters for this, and it lasts a very long time. So what Josh just pointed out, which I didn't notice till now, but it has an age statement on it, 2019, and I don't think we've seen any box wine with an age statement on it or what year it is. And I think this was about $12, $13, pretty much the same price as Trader Joe's. We get our wine at Trader Joe's normally because they have really good prices on wine, way better than any grocery store or anything. I always get these long sleeve shirts. So up here in the Pacific Northwest, it gets really cold in the winter. I did, have never seen these in California where we came from, I think because the temperatures aren't low enough for these to sell. But if you guys live in a really cold climate, highly recommend you buy these um, at your local Costco. And they really do help keep you warm and they're very kind of like thinner material. So it does slip really nicely under like regular shirts, regular t-shirts, jackets. Actually what I use it for is I wear it under my scrubs because I need to wear long sleeve shirts anyways under my scrubs. I just feel better with a, like a long sleeve shirt just to protect me. But at work I get cold a lot and so this is perfect for um, under the scrubs wear. Cooling racks, here we go. So these were about mm, six or seven dollars, so pretty cheap. Uh, we needed more cooling racks, ours are rusting out. We actually use these more for baking. Uh, we put them on a baking sheet and then we put like our meats on top, like chicken thighs mainly, but you can put like, you can cool things on them too, obviously, but we actually use them more in the oven than anything else. So it's nice that these can go in the oven. We are gonna unbox this. I wanna show you the pans. I'm hoping that they're like pretty much the same kind as I'm used to because I really liked my old ones. They just really wore out and my old ones lasted years. So we're gonna open this. Okay, so we're gonna unbox this. This is Hinkle's, Hinkle's? Mm -hmm. Hinkle's brand. So I wanted to quickly compare the two. I've actually not bought this particular brand before. We have the knife set, which we're really happy about, or we've, very, we've been very satisfied with their knife set. These are the pans that I've been currently using from Costco. This one I know you've seen before. I think these are the ones that like either hang or they kind of are in, they're not really in a box, but they're um, non-stick. The brand, yeah, so the brand is Gotham Steel Pro. It's on the back, you can see that. Um, and they're fine, they work well. They work well for non-stick. It's just the thing is over time it gets discolored and we can't wash this off. So if you're one of the people like me who's like a clean freak, this drives me nuts. Like it looks dirty, it's not, we just can't get it out. So this pan we've had maybe like a year, year and a half. So, okay, um, the other pan that we got, so this came in a set, I think there was like two or three of them. Um, and then there's, this also came in a set, but the other ones are over there. I don't wanna bring them all over here. So this is also a non-stick, also got it at Costco. I don't know if they sell this brand anymore, but they sell, um, Pots, they sell pans very similar to this brand. I think it's called Tramontina, Tramontina. I don't know if you can see that label there. So yeah, they Costco does sell these, but I don't know about the particular brand. So they, these have worked well for us nonstick, but the thing of it is, is you have to be careful not to use any metal on these pans because they will scratch very easily. So apparently what this box is telling me is you can use metal, utensils and pretty much anything on these pants and they won't scratch. So I wanna unbox these right now and compare these, this quality to the quality of the pants I currently have. How do I do this? Hold this first. <laughs> ah, there we go. Hey. So we got this, I think that's just a placeholder so that the things don't move around too much. Okay, there we go. And then we have probably directions. Put this over here. Okay, so I forget how many pans come in this. so far and then also the 
box was saying too that they're best on electric stoves, which is what we have. So that was perfect. Yeah, they're good. They're good for for any stove. But when you have an electric stove, you have to be careful on the pots and pans you use because the electric stove can scratch them easily. Okay, so three of them. So this is a really nice size. I like that. Okay, so let's put this over here. Okay, so so far I really like how it's it's definitely non-stick and I like the back how smooth it is it doesn't have any ridges or anything so I'm very glad about that so I know these won't scratch my stove um, they seem very durable it's all metal so nothing plastic on this which is really cool and also I was reading on the box it is oven safe so you can put them in the oven which is awesome and it's PFOA free the coating is so no this is non-toxic coating it's thick pure aluminum construction and it's like I said it's oven safe for up to 500 degrees and it's dishwasher safe which is perfect oh yeah okay so here we go safe to use with metal utensils that's what I thought I read so it's kind of nice you don't have to worry about using like accidentally like using a fork on this or something it should not scratch so very happy with this quality and I'm happy it came in free this was $79 without tax so I think a very good deal like I said we get most of our kitchen utensils and kitchen items at Costco because the price is just unbeatable and if you're not satisfied with the product that you bought from them you can always return it it can be years later and you can return whatever you want and they'll give you your money back so it's just I feel really good about buying my kitchen stuff at Costco and the sizes are 12 inches 10 inches right and 8 inches okay. All right, you guys, as I promised, I'll tell you how much we spent. Granted, keep in mind, this was $80, okay? All right, so everything all together was exactly $497. So $500 will round up, which is a lot of money, but those groceries, a lot of them will last me a while. I eat a lot of food. So I'm a little worried if we ever have kids in the future, <laughs> what our grocery bills are gonna be because we spend a lot of money on food. I just eat a lot of food. Okay. Well, that's it for the video. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I hope that this gave you some ideas on if you have a Costco near you, if you shop at Costco, what to buy. Uh, all healthy stuff, pretty much. And stay tuned because my next video is gonna be me going on the Whole30 diet. Of course, like I said, make sure you subscribe down below. Share this video if you want to. Please hit the like button if you liked this video because it helps me in the YouTube algorithms. Stay tuned for more healthy living videos. And as always, remember to be kind to yourself.